And I'm ready to play a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy. Before I do that, I need to do something real quick. Hello? Are you okay? I barely can hear you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just a little wiped out. <laughs> ah. Well, I'm getting ready to play Hogwarts Legacy livestream. Nice! Well, it's the fourth episode, so... Hello, my baby kitty cat. My tiger wiker. Like in the video game so far? I am. I found a perfect outfit for my character. I am sorry. I will not. I don't like the skirts. I hate the skirts. Oh my god! What? <laughs> okay, I'm watching. I'll just spare you the little details. I'm watching Dr. Pimple Popper, and let's just say. They were squeezing something, and it was big, and it came out, and yeah, I'll leave it at that, unless you really want to Uh, no thank you, not especially okay. during live stream. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> Ow, tiger! Ow, that hurts! Okay, off, 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 off! I know you want attention, but you're hurting. I'm trying to relax. If you're gonna nuzzle me, you better be nice about it, and no puncture points with the paws! Mm. Yeah. And don't bug me while I'm playing. No. Is this on? Yes, it is. Where? Oh, there it is. Eh, it's been a while since I played. Ah! Don't hit the controller, you with your foot. Yeah. <sighs> Can I help you, you brat cat? Or is it just that you missed me while I was at work? Hmm? Probably both. <laughs> or that he knows I'm upset. Cats have a way of knowing. They do. Are you feeling any better from the past couple days? Yeah, I'm just glad my cousin's okay. Yeah? Um, yeah, that's a new one. Okay, so basically, when I got home, I missed the bus one because the other bus driver, bus for bus four, did not mention anything the bus one that I was coming on to it. It was gone by the time, and I had to ride bus two all the way from the new Walmart back down to the bus depot and walk home. I was not gonna do shit after that. But um, after I get home, yeah. Um, after I got home, mom was talking to Jason, who is my cousin in Oregon, the one I took the trip on. I still need to fix that freaking video. Um. <sighs> So I find out that he was driving his hub husband's dad's car. And it got totaled by the uh, people who hit it. Oh no, I didn't know he was in an accident. Shit. Uh, Your fucking buddy's been getting into an accident over Memorial Weekend. Shit. Okay. Fucking me? <laughs> fucking your cousin? Who else? God damn. The thing is, my cousin is okay. And so is that his husband. Is true. Um, the only thing is that it was his husband's dad's car, so his husband is actually pissed off at the people who damaged it. I understand. Is insurance gonna do anything? I won't know. That's not my business. It's the only way you're gonna find out, but... Alright, you wreck. Yeah, I know you are lovey doving, but I need to play. So, let's see. For me, I found out, um, well, I made a couple phone calls today. So, mm -hmm. I 
found out the person that I ended up hitting, not intentionally, obviously, but, um, she's very well taken care of, she's got what she's needed, so I was really happy to hear that, and the good news is I am still able to take my car into a shop and get it repaired. That's the good. The that's going on is I might have to pay $500, which is better than paying a thousand dollars for that. repairs, um, yeah. Yeah, so, but if I didn't have insurance and I tried to go get this car <gasps> fixed, want to know how much I would be looking at? A total of 1,200 and such. No, 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 way higher. <laughs> oh, it was way higher than that? Sometimes it'll go that low. Honey, I had some pretty interesting damages done to my car. I'm looking at over seven thousand dollars. Oh, okay, I need a map. So... Keep hitting the wrong button to travel through the map. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, um, when that accident happened, uh, because it was at a stop sign, I was the one with the stop sign, but the thing was, I did stop and looked both ways. I mm -mm. swear to God, I was clear. I did not see this person come out in front of me until, like, a moment later. So, I don't know if the cop is saying it's both our faults or neither of our faults because he didn't say shit he just said i was good to go and if the insurance people need to to get a copy of it at the police department so i'm like okay where are you right now i'm in boonville arkansas okay i was double checking that <laughs> because think of it i was gonna say if you think about it if you had actually hit my cousin's car, you'd be dealing with his husband. Well, I'm sure me and him could do better terms than maybe what me and that person did, but... But yeah, that's so far, if... everything seems to be going good. Yeah. But if that was the case, though, if it... I, because you got an accident and he got an accident today. I'm making sure. <laughs> well, I didn't get in an accident today. This was during Memorial Weekend, so dear uh... God. Well, at least you're safe, right? Mm -hmm. Well, wrong direction. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started! Yay! Flying broomstick class! Yes, 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 yes! Mr. Clothen, your attention, please! Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class! Welcome! The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up, you stupid ratty up. school broom. Up.
One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. This is brilliant. This will take some getting used to. Oh, that was slow. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Yes, sir. -y. Okay. So. This next set of rings. Broom will controls R2 to for more flight of a speed, L3 to flight speed, and then R to descend or accept. You don't do no. Okay. Okay. Turn around. Whoa. Okay. Oh frick! I can't. Hello. Okay. Nice day for a flight. There we go. <laughs> Good. I've got this. <laughs> Crazy oh, broomstick no driver! <laughs> Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. <gasps> oh crap! I hate that. I might have to do the control thing. Was too close. Uh. Slightly getting the hang of this. watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? One time. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as... Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh, no, 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 no! Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back! Oh my gosh, okay. I'm, I'm hitting the wrong button. I need it. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the garden. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Oh, a bit claustrophobic I hate for my taste. That. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. 
Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. So. <laughs> now that's oh, a lot like better. It. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the alloy. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Find it and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Try and hurry. He's already dismissed Carl. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Holy Gugnoli! And where have you two been? Yes. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. <laughs> Rather good sorry flying, about that, but yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was totally bad. I had trouble with the controlling. Uh. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Yay! Now I can fly a broom. <laughs> can I actually go fly a broom? I might want to go buy a broom. I want to go buy a broom. Oh wait a bit. Where's the map? 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 map. Quest. Apples. Map. Hugs me. Do I even have enough money for a broom? That's the question. Also, warning, if you watch any of these videos of mine, Malia, the third one is seven hours long. I was stuck on something. It's all good. Oh, 
broadens the mind. If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. We're playing the crew, I think. Mm. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor Excuse as me. soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Okay. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Hey! What's up, bitch? You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads. You're muted threatening if you're hamlets. talking. I can fly safely almost anywhere. Thank but you, you try flying <laughs> with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then. Back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Um, what? Playing Hogwarts. Do you Live mind streaming it. more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every bad. detail of every model. Take wind wisps. Well known you. for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some I fear flying am. them. Likely to do with the you one's darker yes, reputation. Eddie, then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome through. appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Embarrassment. Embarrassment. Oh, I'm a hundred short. Damn it. Wait a minute. Do I have something that I could sell? What the hell are you trying to sell? Nice doing business. Ha ha! You. Now I can get myself a broom! Everything good, Bobby? Um, I passed my uh, flying broom class. Yeah, that's good. And I'm buying myself a broom, so that way I don't have to walk to every place. Congratulations. I feel fucking tired. But I'm not tired. I don't know. Exhaustion. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance <sighs> of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency today. tends to falter <laughs> yeah. as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, yes. if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. 
As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? <sighs> How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumored talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having yeah, you assess the broom will be invaluable. Right here trying, to hold, trying to have a whole fucking conversation. <laughs> Sounds as though you took Kagawa's class. I did. Well, you were so silent that it, it brooms, just came rather mind. than the art of flying drove her mad. Mm. Hey, she thinks it fitting I run spin witches hey, now. Oh, I don't reckon either of us ever pictured <laughs> me batting away bludgers for the cannons or puddle me united. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I'm maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. Yes, kitty cat is doing. Here, let me scoot over that so you can lay down and get cat there. You want to lay down? Lay down. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the, the new upgrade ought to enhance rooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. You cat ass. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I'll be back. Excuse me. Nice. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Alright, so, map. Let's see. You good? I'm in pain. What's wrong? Uh, just a little achy, that's all. You didn't hurt yourself in that little car thing you had, did you? Um, no, I wasn't really in too much pain or, like, any injury or anything, but it might have a little effect, but it'll probably go away. Well, if it don't, wait, hold on, who caused the crash? Did you cause it or did the other car uh, like, it was, cause it? I want to say it's me, but I think it was both of us, because here's the thing. Uh, I was crossing an intersection. I'm the one that had the stop sign, right? Mm -hmm. I stopped. I looked both ways. I swear to fucking God, I was clear. And then, right as I'm crossing, motherfucker came out of nowhere and pow! You know, you said, did you say that to the cop? Nope, I didn't say shit. I was just more apologizing to the person. Well, you know, if you were to say that to the cop. But the cop didn't say whose fault it was either, so at this point, it's Sorry whatever it's the police funny. report will say. I just got let go. Well, uh, yeah, it's a good thing you didn't tell the cop. Because if you did tell him what happened, he was probably going to try and give you a uh, breathalyzer Ticket. test. No, well, no. I. It was kind of early in the morning for that shit, so no. Yeah. Down here where I live, honey, um, the cop has been so far a really good person, and he was nice, so. Oh, you're lucky. I got dumbass cops that don't do shit. Same, my cop just sit on the side of the road and talk to other cops for hours. I can't do that, you know that. <laughs> so I got. Ooh. Where is she? Oh, okay. All the way up there, where the broom would have been helpful.
You have if it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Damn it, I keep going. Uh, this will take some getting used to. Quit going up! Made it! Go down. Up instead of descend. Oh, frickin' hey! Oh! Hey. Okay. Okay. It's not like, uh, very oh, popular over there is giving you some, uh, trouble. I hate the thing where I have to. Maneuver up and down with the thing. Understood, understood. Could have done better. It is fucking cold in this house. Brilliant. I I want to I've been had on a hoodie since uh, I got in the house and the pool. This is rather fun. This hoodie went like, really buzzing and shit, but still fucking cold. I'm sorry if I'm yelling a little bit. It's all good. You sure? Oops. Yeah, we have to do a fucking thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant. I hate it. I am gonna be fucking repeating. I hate it right now. I hate the freaking up and down joystick control thing. It is annoying, yes, I agree. I wonder if I could switch Glad it to, to aim. See I'm still the reigning. But what say you? Want to try again? Yeah, it's gonna keep repeating till I get Ready it. When you are. <sighs> Made it. Keep 
keep going for freaking ah! This is gonna drive me up a wall. <laughs> well, Leah, shut up. Brilliant. Damn it! I keep missing fucking rings. Transformers with that uh, Shia dude, Leo Fu, whatever his name is, Leo Fu. The original, like the first Transformers movie. They should go back to our. No. You remember how the Transformers looked back in those Glad movies? Glad to see I'm still the rich. But what say you? They should Once bring try back. again. You mean the next Ready when you are. movie? The 2009. So the Michael Bay movies? Yes. Okay. That's a pretty good game. I don't know, I can't fucking explain it. This is rather fun. The only person I know that bring it back up that is I know. Everything else they're going based off of the movies. Could have done better. Remember, um... Mark Wahlberg. Oh, now that's more like Um, when uh, Megatron had, got killed and then he turned it back and bought the truck. Was that? Which fucking movie was that? I forgot the name of it. Not either
you must have cheated you. Oh, fine. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. Oh, but don't get your hopes up. The minute. next course near Irondale offers a much yeah. tougher oh. challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duel is to beat. Third time was the charm, wasn't it? Or fourth? I don't know. I will say this, riding the broom is not easy, that's for sure. Excuse me. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethy could let the no-sayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. 
I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates How is standing behind a till counting knuts and sickles considered? Pavilion. Excuse me. <laughs> the smell of clothes smells very calming. I think I teleported a little too far. Okay, I had to make sure on that. It's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment. In the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. 
She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. All right, so let's see. Oof. All right. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Tact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Confringo! Oh! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Oh, wait a minute. There's a chest over here. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. And Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. 
Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key, and Gringotts, and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Revelia. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please, I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I think I chose the wrong wording for that. Great.
Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast... ...on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. down some of us are trying to rest
I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Avelio. An intruder! Stop them! No, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? You should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> hmm. Rebellion. I hope that house elf can find us in here.
Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deed will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room, like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magic properties of the identified gear that you collected. And fortunately, some of it I have actually uh, sold. Nothing to identify, for now at least. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? 
Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. 
I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. of all the potions you've brewed. Professor, I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? There are so many choices. What items do you think I should conjure? I shall leave that entirely up to you. This is your space, after all. I will say that a simple addition, such as a wall hanging or a portrait, might make the space feel unique. Can I remove an item I've conjured? Indeed you can. You already know the spell. Evanesco. When you vanish something, the moonstone used to conjure it will become available to you again. I think I can manage from here. Thank you. I look forward to seeing your work.
Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. A dark something chair that would be well suited for the something dining room in the Grand, grand Manor. something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke with you.
Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Mm -hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learnt a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Oh, it, it changed everything in the room. Alright. Alright, I'm not gonna mess with that. No. I'm gonna just look on down here. Oh, that's actually gorgeous.
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right. Enough. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I got quests to do. <sighs> Am I the only one? No. Malia is very quiet. <sighs> huh? What the? Never mind. <sighs> Excuse me. Hello, Tiger. Yee, my little kitty cat. Oh, my back. <laughs> Italians and a historian.
I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. And that's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way, and a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Made. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. 
Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who sees traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding yeah. this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Dia, stop getting into that. Mm. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. <coughs> what can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. <laughs> oh, look at you! <laughs> oh my goodness! Good. 
good girl for trying. <laughs> up, 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 up. You just did it. Come on. Oh, that works. Hmm. Come here. Come here. Sit. Up. 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 Did the puppy hear me bark? <laughs> Maybe. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 you almost had it, come on. Oh, good girl. It's time you learned to place this, the freezing okay. spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will okay. need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Lay down. 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 Down. Lay down. Lay down. Come on. Yeah, lay down. Lay down. Good girl. Jump up! Jump up! You gotta jump up for this one! Good girl! Just up. Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. Good girl! Okay. Good job, baby.
Excuse me. My fault you're a deadly great spider.
Hi, Lex. Hi, hun. How are you? I'm good. I'm just broadcasting um, Hogwarts Legacy. Ah, I see, see. What she do? Seriously? What she do? Who lived here, I wonder? I am not dealing with bad guys today, I just want to get this mission done. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. And now if I had my fucking broom, I don't know how to frickin' how to work that. Mm. <laughs> Because I passed the class, where's my fucking broom? <laughs> Unless I have to pass all the fucking flying tests, then that's frickin' stupid. Slightly.
I'd rather befriend the spiders than frickin' kill them. <laughs> like Hagrid! Excuse me. <laughs> Your excuse, that was very nice. <laughs> Meow. Meow. Intriguing case, Sunbacard Tower. Over here. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Well, wow. this is...
it isn't. This way. And I'd suggest we use the disillusionment charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Wait a minute. There's losing I haven't learned that. Wait a minute. Reaching an enemy undetected allows you to cast Perfection Totalus. This will permanently indicate, incapacitate a weaker enemy or a significant damage, a uh, stronger one. How do I do that? I haven't learned that spell yet either. <laughs> Is it one of these? Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. So powerful enough to bind most enemies permanently, but more damage, dangerous foes will only take some damage and then quickly break free. Some of the effect, sneak up undetected to an enemy and press square when promoted to cast. Well done. Must be something here. Ramrock said so. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. Reminds me of the time I nearly fell out of a car at Gringotts. I was only young, mind. We're not like I'd fall out now. Lucky if I fit in one now. Uh, there must be something here. Ramrock said so. Goblins will finally rule over wizards.
Hello. Oh, wow. Didn't touch your help. No, no, no. Thank you for making me the oh, first yeah. object of your suspicions. Know who my friends are now, don't no, I? doing the crew to uh, crew to I'm live casting Hogwarts legacy and I'm just here chilling because I hurt Wait a moment <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about right, sadly. Sadly, that sounds about right. You do, uh... What your, uh... What job you do? Uh, I gotcha. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Avalia. Yeah, I, uh, my body decided to betray me because I fell asleep weird as a motherfucker. Not my normal position I would sleep in at all. And I woke up with a plastic fucking tray in my back. <laughs> Which caused my back to completely go, ow! Revenia. God damn it. God, God damn it. <laughs> hmm. Orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. That doesn't what surprise names? me. And why here? Doesn't surprise me when you get that tan. Mm -hmm. And we will draw blood. You won't last long. towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. Hey, uh... Rebellion. Mm hmm? I got me two new movies. <laughs> yeah, what are those? Uh, pick them up for five bucks out of red box. Looks what like the name of them? Um... Wait, wait, wait. A man called it's Lotto. Oh, no. <laughs> and Justice League X Ruby. Very handy. No time spark. now, but if you don't <laughs> learn it soon enough, we can work on it back at the castle. Someone was an avid That's reader. That's what I got. I can say I'm familiar with many of these titles. 
ten bucks away. Woohoo! Revenia. Welcome to San Bacar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say San Bacar's Tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Command it to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged to a keeper. For the moment, however, you've more important things to set your mind to. A reservoir of ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic. Downstairs, near the entry.
Volvi returning, which is Devolver Digital's old mascot from years ago. Yeah, Volvi was around when Devolver Digital in the early 2000s, so... We'll be right back. Okie dokie, hon. A sticker shock I didn't think I would hear today. Oh, three thousand dollars for a VR headset. I, I swear, Apple, why, why so expensive? You could have done less than two thousand. Come on. Didn't have to put the AR in there. they could Nintendo could basically just a mini stuff in the middle of like they could involve themselves with summer games fest this year and drop a small amount of their games in there they've done something like that before
I am back. Alright, it looks like I have to go learn Alohomora. That is what it was. So, professor Assignments. Damn it, 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 damn Looks like I'll be going through that again after I learn the fucking spells from teachers. And I knew, I knew, I knew I had to have that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't continue this. So. Hello, Gizmo. Did, did 
you change the name again? <laughs> Gizmo, why? You asshole. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill, a test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. Nothing to it. That was one for the ages. Wait, did I win? I won! We should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. One for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. Eh, <laughs> lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. 
You beat me. I'm just broadcasting, so that's basically why. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander, there's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed. Figured out how to rent the broomstick, yay! Figured out how to pull it out of my inventory. <laughs> uh, you hit L1 and then you hit circle, square, triangle, X, depending on the thing. Mm-hmm. Market for potions, are we? Hello, Mr. Pippin. Hey, you need help with the delivery? Idea. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day.
what you did. Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so.
Okay. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered uh, being easier to work yeah. with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Uh, what do you have for sale? Hmm? Yeah. Still so A sore. fine choice. <laughs> exactly what I would have chosen. <sighs> this will do just fine. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. So, Lex, have you actually tested your Harry Potter class and what it would be? Mm, it's been a long time since I have. So, as of late, I'm not sure what it could technically be. Don't ever want to. Well, do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. 
Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Revelio.
<laughs> oh, hello, tiger. <laughs> hello, little kitty cat. Oh, there goes my back. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Okay. Important, You've done a fight. I tell you this Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. And where did I set my traps? Was it lower or upper Hogsfield?
I should investigate. Incendio! Be jiggy. Revenia. Get to him, bun. Hmm. I decided to do a uh, quiz for the house. Yeah, mm -hmm. What I got? What you got? Ravenclaw. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? It used to be slippering way back in my teens. <laughs> hey, it looks like I've changed houses. <laughs> Use the map with the floating candles. Find the treasure.
Excuse me. She wasn't making it up. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willensee might get an answer about these butterflies. Oh well, look what we have here. These rocks have seen better days. Incendiary. 
ですよ。年金。うん。一、う、週、ん。I caught it early, yay. <笑>うん。Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Hello, slump. I am awake now. Uh, Treasure uh, must be nearby. Oh, I won't even lie. I was I up early. Uh, I got an Treasure hunting I suits me. Yeah, I actually fell asleep, so I woke up, turned my shit off, took a nap, and woke up like that. Ah, I see. Ow! Oh, fuck! Yeah. You okay, honey? Yo, oh, my leg popped. Ow. Oh, 
Fucking started to whole yawn. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I started yawning before you left. So. Uh, well, I guess you started a... it and I gotta continue, and I guess. Yeah, it's been a tiring day for. I think it's been a tiring day for a lot of people. The day's been mm -hmm. slow as hell. And no one let the tiger wager. Let go with the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, there goes my head. I will be back. Mm-hmm. Tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies. Hello, Miss Willetsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Bugs. Lumos.
Rebellion. struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. All of the best. Run around the castle, I'll just have you! Have you any idea what sort of trouble you might get yourself into? You're lucky I don't. Come up there myself! It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I'm totally freaking lost.
Professor Black have children of his own? Hey, it's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person okay, I need. I've you see, I have an mm -hmm. idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant. Thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dry billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So. The reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from a shop? Goodness! It's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. I missed it. This looks like the right statue. How was Descendium.
A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. Seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? I'm going to have to get past this. Oh my god, what am I watching? Uh, why must I pick these things? Uh, I... Well, I'm officially disgusted. Uh... One more to go and I'll make it across. Let me open. Aha, got it. Ooh, crap, I almost fell off. This must be the way out. Hmm, I need to find a way to open that gate. Confringo. 
Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey juice. an idiot, Lolo. You're an idiot. The last tab is not <laughs> unhot. It's fucking hot, you dummy. Mm. <laughs> Just remember, this was broadcasted, by the way. <laughs> oh, totally cribs in red face right now. <laughs> oh. Honey jukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? The dried billywick stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Oh, why are you a sourpuss face now? <coughs> oh, what's the matter? You're such a sourpuss. Again. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh, character. Yeesh.
Oh, what? You're so pussy now. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize these. Oh, one of each house. Oh, the oh, they're kind of cool. Hello, Gareth. I have those dried bilywick stings. You got them. Incredible. Happy to help. Here you go. This is brilliant. Can't wait to get started. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. I heard that troll was thunderous. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. I'm stuck. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Eh.
You know your voice is being shared, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> what? You thought I was done broadcasting? No, I know it still is. I can't resist it though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way, and I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Why did Armit tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Armit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Accio. Got it. Only four more to go. Rebellion.
Velio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. <sighs> Reading can be as magical as any spell. Revelio. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief! Thank you! I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Fuck. <laughs>
Not what I meant to do. And they're gone. 
<laughs> you got phone call. Hold on. Oh, that's what's going on. Wow. Yeah. One second. That is strong. I thought there was a sweet stuff. Yep. can't find these freaking classes. I hate that.
The path you walk is precarious. You should return. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most need. Another house token for the house chest. Rebellion. What are you up to now?
Velia. Lumos. Revenue. Why? 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 No.
excuse me. Off on another adventure, are we? No, I swear I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity, ever so. Come on, then. What you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What? I bet... Your bag, it's wriggling. What you got in there? Not rats, I hope. No, it's a niffler! What do I want with a niffler? He's sharp. Stole from me, he did. He was robbed by a niffler. I... That's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural, worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. <laughs> Uh, uh, Rebellion. I must You're wasting my time. Ow! No, I would you never waste me, your little rat. Right. Huh. He's not a rat. Amateur.
Hello. Do you have anything for sale? That I do. But, uh, what's a student like yourself doing out here? Got yourself lost, did you? Just exploring the countryside a bit. Hi. <laughs> nice to break the routine now and then. Bit of a wanderer myself, in fact. The name's Leopold Babcock, and I am indeed here to sell. <laughs> now, for someone like yourself who is also prone to wander, I cannot understate the importance of keeping some Wiganweld potion on hand. I wouldn't dare set foot in a place like the Forbidden Forest without a steady supply. What do you say, my young friend? A measure of safety for the path ahead? Something to consider. Thank you for your help, Mr. Babcock. Aye. Let me know if you see something you like. And what do you have for sale? Thank you for your patronage. Thank you for your patronage. That's been a pleasure. Damn it, I keep missing it. Yeah.
Brilliant. How did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kogawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well done, Revelio. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world.
Sylvania. Why do I need to complete these tasks again? Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. I keep getting caught on stuff. Ah. I don't have anything for this at the moment. Nick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. <laughs> and still broadcasting.
you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawang. Save me a lot of time and trouble. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse. Why are you so worried? You uh, did that twice already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why? Are you gonna be a sour puss now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks, and then come and see me. Have you been watching my live stream lately or no? I was earlier. Whoa. I didn't see you pop on then. Oh, stupid thing. Nah. Then again, I just probably did not see it. Probably. Oh. I was watching earlier when I wasn't in the party. Oh. Oh. I, I don't have anything else to really watch that the battery won't go bleh. Although I could start my computer, but it hasn't started in a day or two, it's going to be stupid. Well, yeah. you could always watch it off your PlayStation and be in the party. That's what I've well, done with Malia. Well, but I lag sometimes. Hmm? You lag sometimes? Uh-huh. Mm. Every once in a while, on live streams anyway. All fair. <laughs> and on live stream too. <laughs> Got you saying no fair. <laughs> what? What's the matter? Sir, 
Why do I need to complete these tasks again? I Professor thought I Weasley did that. has asked that we all contribute ah. extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. What? <laughs> Lex? Yeah? You're not telling me something. What were you laughing at? There's a video I was watching. I don't want to know since I'm live streaming. It was just something from offline TV was nothing. Mm-hmm. Oh, just beer showers, that's all. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Why did Thanks I feel for... like you took that as a very serious <laughs> Well, oh, you're gonna just be happy if you sleep tonight. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawen. Saved me a lot of trouble. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Damn it! I knew I should have used all Here my gold on fucking ingredients. In the it was never one for adventure <laughs> myself. Wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now.
Go for a good broadcast. <laughs>
I have to give up that freaking quest because I don't have enough money and I can't do it. Oh, Not I without uh, I needed the freaking stuff and I didn't know how much gold I needed and I am out of gold till I get that done so boo! Boo boo boo. Oh, frick, I landed in water. Huh. Huh. Oops, whoopsie. Gotcha! Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrong room.
fight fun. Mm hmm. I will be right back. Mm hmm. It seemed more better to look that way than anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Acquire a venomous... something, and then require a use... a mandrake on multiple enemies, simulated... So since those two are busy... Because I don't have enough gold and I'm waiting on plants. I'm gonna get this one, which is practice flying and such. Wait a minute, I need to check the frickin' map. And that's all the way in Hogsmeade? Or world map. All the way over here.
There we go. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Last time I was in Lower Oxfield, my sack was full of potions.
Revelio. In terms of good and evil, merely indicates a limited amount of Let's finish this job and be done with it. Waste of time, this is. And be sure to stoke the flames with an easy hand. I seem to recall last time you put the thing out. Likely we'll need more wood if we're to not freeze. Seems harshness has her mind set to follow us.
Welcome back. Have you finished your assignments? Reporting back, Professor. Assignments all finished. Well done. Shows good discipline. Wisdom is a golden snitch, as they say. And you're proving a skilled seeker in that regard. Let us practice our restore momentum. A charm, incidentally, created to stop quaffles from plummeting straight to the ground during a Quidditch match. Precise, deliberate movements. Very good. I recommend practicing your new spell as much as possible. Perhaps before you leave here. Nice to see you, my young friend.
Wow, and save me a lot of time and trouble. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> I was never one for adventure myself. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello. Be with you in a bit. Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. seen this many plants here before. Things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
Sir, why do I need to complete these tasks again? <sighs> Professor Weasley has asked that we all contribute extra time to help you catch up to your peers. And before I teach you to Pulso, I must know that you are prepared to handle it. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to try this, I think you should. But it's best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted... Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem strongly determined to master your spellcasting. said that travel broadens the mind. And that's 1030 already, wow. Unfortunately, I think I'll end it off here till next time, and hopefully you guys enjoy my videos. If you like any of my videos, hit the thumbs up or the like button down below the video. 
Also, if you want to subscribe to my channel and check out any other videos, uh, hit the subscribe button below the video too, or go to my channel and subscribe. Also, if you want to be notified when my next video is out, hit the bell to be notified. Till next time, Snake Spider out. <laughs>